Welcome back, everyone. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Our, uh, our lovely guy has had a nice uh, sleep. I'm going to eat all these berries in quick succession. They do almost nothing for food, but what the hell, why not, right? Um, but if there was a mass eat from our foraging expedition, in case you're forgetting. Um, let's fill up our water bottle. Water bottle. There we go. Drink some water. Um, my goal for today, or my first goal for today anyways, is a, there is a farmer's market north of us that I'm going to try and hit hopefully before all the food goes bad. It's, it is very cold this morning, so that's no good. Um, I think I skipped all the houses on this side of the street too when I was coming down looting. So if that's the case, and I think it is, I will probably stop off and take care of those as well. Come here, lady. Because it's always good to loot. And let's see. Nope, nothing. Old newspaper. Take care of some of these people before we go inside. Looks like I was correct that I skipped looting this side of the street, so we will take care of that along the way. Come here, old man. Handle your butt over here for some whipping. Nothing? sweater. A knife. Got one of those already. I think we have like two or three of them actually. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Come on. There you go. You can do it. I knew. I believed in you. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Uh, hammer. Got a whole bunch of hammers already. I'll take the wine though. Water bottle. Always welcome. Those. A little drink since we're here. I'm like drinking out of the, out of the faucet. All right. So I don't see anybody inside here from this angle at least. So let's get in there. Or not. We won't get in there that way. But we might get in there this way. Oh, this door is open. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> have I been in here? I must have been in here already. More forks, or not forks, more hammers. Lots of hammers. Always taking the garbage bags. Hang on here. I feel like I've been in here already. But I didn't open this door, so maybe I haven't been. Not that there's anything in here, but whatever. Free stump. Is that, no, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Anybody on this side? I don't want to be surprised while I'm busy looting. Let's take a look around. It's always a good idea. You can spare the time. You know, occasionally you get so busy that you can't help. Just gotta jump. Jump and hope. But we got the time, so we will do it properly. Carpentry for Beginners. I already have that book. I need to read some of my books soon. That's one of the things I need to take some time off camera and do. I just worry about, I always worry about wasting days reading books um, when the, before the utilities go out, because <laughs> I'm like, I gotta take advantage of the times when the utilities are still on, because once the utilities go out, we're screwed. But I guess I, it's something I need to do. Probably the cooking books especially, because cooking is so much easier when the utilities are still on. We are in sandbox mode, which should let the cookie, the looking at the cooking pot, or to say the word cooking, um, should let the utilities potentially stay on longer, but I don't know. I just don't know. Anything in there? Nope. Okay. Right, last house on this block. Probably should have checked the far side of that house before I went over here, but whatever. It seems to be working out okay. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Get it. Do it. Rip it open. Push it. You can do it. Come on. Nope. All right. One more. One more window to try. Hopefully, we don't have to break the door down. There we go. Oh, thought I was gonna be stuck in the furniture there. Early, really early on in this game, when I first was playing it, 
the, I don't know, build 27, maybe even earlier, I don't remember. 26 maybe? I, I don't remember. I actually came in through a window like that and got completely stuck in the furniture and that was the end of that playthrough. I couldn't go back out the window, I couldn't walk away, it was just, I was just stuck. So, it's nice to see that they've, I mean they fixed it a long time ago, but it still makes me uncomfortable every time I come in that way. Magazine, that has a, it has a laser on it, so we'll take that. So I'm gonna eat this burger. Why not? Make me a little happier. Everybody needs a little happiness in their life. Alright, so that house is done. So we're gonna go up this street here and then to the left, and that's where the farmer's market is. We could just cut up through the trees, but I might as well get some looting in this area done while we're on the way. Not gonna go to the laundromat right now. That guy's just not interested in us. Why well, come eat brains when you can jump over fences back left and right doing the zombie shuffle? Anything? Nope. They're very stingy zombies. They don't want to give me uh, axes or more baseball bats or good drugs. Nope, that door's not going to come open. Window, whatever. Nope, that one's stuck too. You make me bust the door down. Ah, there we go. Magazine and newspaper. Bottle of disinfectant. Always good to have more of those. Comb. My, to my knowledge, a useless item. Could be wrong. It might have some great purpose that I've forgotten about. But in my knowledge, it is no good. Oops, I'll take those. Plastic bag that can stay. All of this. Mmm, worms. Just trying to... That little silence there was me trying to remember the some kid song about eating worms and it failed so that's what that was in case you were wondering little kids are gross I mean I guess the point is not actually that they eat worms but that they sing a song about them eating worms which is less gross I suppose this is not dense enough for foraging I guess Oh, well, yeah, that's pretty not dense. I can see why that wasn't good for foraging. Here's the farmer's market. Or food market, I should say, not a farmer's market. Which makes more sense, because, you know, I can't imagine the weekly farmer's market in the town would probably go on when the uh, world was coming apart. I mean, I know farmers are hardy folk who uh, take their business very seriously, but... That seems excessive. Aha! Lucky day. Doors open. Peach. Rotten peach. Somebody was telling me I need to take all the rotten food because if I get my cooking skill up high enough, high enough I can actually use it for things. Mmm. Pickles. Still good amongst all the rotten food. I would not eat those. Well, I don't know. If I was starving, I might. I guess I shouldn't. Couldn't, shouldn't speak. These are all rotten. But I'm not gonna take them all now. I know where the I know where to find rotten food if time if it comes to that. So if I ever get my cooking skill high enough to actually should have come here earlier, I guess. If I get any of this stuff. I'll come back for it. It's not like I don't know where to find it. It's basically everywhere after the power goes out. Alright, so where do we want to go? Let's go into this very rugged home right here. Since we're up this way already, check the door first. Oh. Anything? Nope. No zombies. Another hammer. All the hammers I could possibly want. That's it. 
All they got is a hammer. Two entry oars to this house. There's a front door and a side door. I guess I shouldn't be that surprised by that. I don't know why I found that so surprising. Two entry doors? No house ever has that. A lot of food there. That's good. Chips. I think I'm probably good on pepper. Ooh, some crates. I love some crates. Especially when they give me good stuff. Nope. Is that full? That's full. Alright, where's our second bag? Second bag. Blank. Trowel. I think we've already got a trowel, but I'll take another one. Nothing. Take a nap. It's getting late, though, actually. I should probably head back. Cotton balls. I'll take an extra bath towel. Especially since we're about to run back in the rain. Well, oh, that was really... That was sloppy of me, running in there like that. Normal hiking bag. Anything in it? No. Alright, so this house is done. Come on. Get out of the corner. Alright, so let's get home. We're gonna get a little wet on the drive. Drive? <laughs> on the run. A little wet on the drive. Vehicles are not in this game. At least not yet. We all have hope. How are we doing? 55 on sprinting. We're never gonna level up sprinting. But I so desperately want level 2 sprinting. It's so nice. So nice. Come on. Not that far, but it just takes so long to run places. I suppose that's true in real life, that's why we invented cars and bicycles and horses. Well, I guess we didn't invent horses, but, you know, domesticated horses. He's drowsy. Come on, buddy. A little further. Oh, hello. Sorry. Didn't see you there, lady. Out for midnight stroll in the rain, I suppose. Always good. He's tired, so he's swinging like crap. Come on. We don't have time to stand out here in the rain and swing at this lady. Let's put her down. Oh, come on, dude. Not that hard. Because I know you're tired, but dig deep. Come on. There we go. Finally. Now we're going to be soaked when we get home. Gotta let him. Gotta let him catch his breath. This is not a good way to. In the, when it's cold like this, you really don't want to get all wet. He's gonna get a cold. I just know it. I know it. He's gonna get a cold. I can feel it in my bones. Not that that's the end of the world, but it's not exactly what you want either. All right, here we go. It's a good thing I took that towel. Not that it's going to get him fully dry, but... Dry myself. Alright, so now he is just wet. And we can just drop that. I'm not sure if they've ever added a way to, to dry off, but... If they have, I don't know about it. Um, Alright, I'm going to take care of his normal business, and we will be back in just a moment. All right, he's awake again. Um, we had another cold night, and I really don't, I'm not really sure exactly what to do with that. I mean, in order to sleep by a fire, we would have to sleep outside, which doesn't seem like a very good option. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. It'd be nice if they, I'd recommend adding coats or something along those lines to the game, if you're listening, Indie Stone. Um, we all know you watch. Don't lie, you love it. I actually don't believe that at all, but whatever. Um, you're going to need coats, I think, or blankets or some mechanic to show that beds are warm, something like that. I don't know. Just spitball in here, because uh, he spent another cold night, but he's in a house with heat that has, I mean, I assume it has heat, 
the power is still on. But he gets really cold overnight. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with that exactly, but it seems like a slight oversight in the game. It should probably be, be corrected when time permits. It's probably not a huge... Huge, uh... What am I trying to say? Not a huge concern, but something to be to think about, especially with that eight months later, um, or whatever it is, six months later, preset and sandbox, which puts you in a very cold time of year. But it just also seems weird that sleeping outside would be better for you than sleeping inside. But what do I know? I'm no expert on hypothermia. Stay down, dude. I had some requests to zoom in a little bit more uh, when I'm doing things, and so I'm going to try and do that. Uh, I'll probably forget, because it happens. I thought you were back there. But I'll do my best to remember. Feel free to, you know, yell at me in the comments if you see me doing it again. Come here, people. I got a bat for you. I won't go to bat for you. I have an actual bat for you. It's a subtle but important difference. One thing I think that they could do if they wanted to make the zombies more menacing is to make them aware of each other. Um, because, as you've probably noticed, my one of my main tactics. Oh, I didn't think so. I don't think I can open these windows. I can't. Alright. Um, one of my main tactics with these guys. Oh, that condition is terrible. Let's, let's swap out bats here. Is to call them away one at a time. You know, get just close enough that the guy on the corner hears me, and then and then get him to come, and then obviously go to the next guy, and repeat. If they were, if the zombies were aware of each other, such that if one started shambling off in one direction, the others went with them, I feel like that would potentially uh, that would add a more menace to the zombies. A lot of. This is going to be a lot of damage on this act, on this bat that is for probably no gain because there's almost never anything useful in the laundry mat. But I just can't leave a I can't leave a house behind. Also, if you've forgotten the reason I'm doing this, instead of breaking through windows like we used to do, is get going through windows you can now cut yourself, which is bad, as you would imagine. Be nice if they added a way of cleaning the glass out, like taking some extra time and using your weapon. Maybe it maybe it does some damage to your weapon, something along those lines. Why didn't it take those? I don't know. Nothing. Um. Do a little damage to your weapon so that you can remove the glass from the window or something along those lines. I don't know. I'm just throwing things out here. Just ideas. As I was predicted, that is a weird thing to keep in a mailbox. <laughs> Nothing useful in the laundromat. So let's hit this motel up. Not to be confused with Nutella, which is a delicious treat. But motel up. Which is a place where zombies live that may or may not have good loot. A little higher density of the zomboids. The zeds. The walkers. The rotters. Uh, oh, can't think of. The zeeks. I'm trying to think of all the various names for zombies I can think of. Zed. No, I already said zeds. Um, deadheads. I think that's one of them. Which are, of course, also Grateful Dead fans, but that's not what I'm going for right now. Hey, a pop can. Those are always those are always a welcome arrival. Let's see if any of these doors are open first. 
Nope. Get with the zombie too. Hey buddy. Staying at the skeezy motel, huh? Alright. Well, that window is open. I think I hear banging somewhere in this place. Bath towel, magazine. Heat. I always think that this must be a play a thing that is does this have anything on it? A red dot scope, I guess we'll take it. Um must be miss misassigned as a refrigerator because it always just has random junk in it instead of food. But it adds for a good laugh. Or maybe it's supposed to be broken and the people are just keeping stuff in there. Oh no no no. I took a blind swing because I knew that I could tell from the sound that somebody was in here, but my blind swing was the wrong direction. But I think it turned out alright. Did he get me? He did not. Dead mouse pistol, that's just a magazine. Flashlight. Nothing in the cabinet, because there never is anything useful in cabinets. Alright, any of these doors open? Sounds like somebody's up here. Get it. There you go. Whoops. And then I closed it. Get it and close it. Anything in here? Wallet. Steal some cash. Very useful. Use it for like insulation. Take the soap. Um I feel like yeah, I feel like cash would make good insulation after the after the apocalypse. I wonder where that banging is coming from. Nothing good in there. I'll take these tweezers. Well, those are nice. For when I need to tweeze things, which I will eventually, I'm sure. Come on, you can do it. No, you're not going to do it. That one's no good now. He gives up too easily. Come on. See, now that's a place where you give up, right there. You made a very good strong go of it. Spent probably about 30 minutes of in-game time trying to break that window open. I'm okay with you giving up there. And I'm going to give up here for today and call this episode a day. I hope you've been enjoying it, and I will see you back here tomorrow for more some more Project Zomboid. And uh, thanks so much.